You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Joseph Sullivan was the founding president of the Chicago Board Options Exchange, or SIBO, from 1972 to 1979. As vice president for planning and market development at the Chicago Board of Trade, he played a key role in the creation of the SIBO and stock options. Joe passed away on October 2, 2020, at the age of 82. Joe had been the Wall Street Journal's Capitol Hill reporter when he made the move to the Chicago Board of Trade, working as then-President Henry Hall Wilson's assistant. Joe was put in charge of the fledgling options exchange project, as the exchange was attempting to develop new markets because of slow trade in the agricultural markets. He was responsible for the development of both a central market for options trading with standardized terms and a clearing corporation, now OCC, standing as the opposite party to every transaction. Joe and his colleagues worked tirelessly to overcome skepticism and resolve all the technicalities, but the Chicago Board Options Exchange officially launched on April 26, 1973, with 16 initial stocks. 911 contracts traded that opening day, and with the addition of 16 more stocks in two stages later that year, trading volume ballooned to an average of more than 10,000 contracts daily. The SIBO also grew by leaps and bounds while Joe was at the helm. Within the next two years, the SIBO would expand to 50,000 contracts traded per day, 100,000 contracts on some peak days, 67 available stocks, and a dollar value of options traded in fiscal year 1975 exceeding $4.4 billion. Demand for memberships had Joe and his team add 100 more seats in 1976 and 100 more in 1977 with the launch of put options. After leaving the SIBO in 1979, Joe moved to New Jersey with his wife and children to work on Wall Street, where he co-founded a boutique options firm. In 1992, Joe returned to Knoxville, Tennessee, his childhood home. Tapping into his long-harbored love for journalism, he acquired a fledgling bi-weekly newspaper, the Metro Pulse. With Joe's backing as its owner and publisher, Metro Pulse grew into a prominent news and entertainment weekly with an illustrious editorial staff that won numerous journalistic awards both locally and nationally. Always civic-minded, Joe served on the boards of several cultural and caregiving organizations, especially after his return to Knoxville. Joe is survived by three children and seven grandchildren. His wife of 58 years, Mary, died in 2019. The SIBO honored Sullivan with a moment of silence on its trading floor after his passing. Today, we honor Joe Sullivan for providing the vision and leadership to make listed options a reality. One of Joseph Sullivan's lasting legacies is the annual Sullivan Award, named in his honor. 
The award was first presented in 2002 at the Options Industry Conference and has become a regular feature of the conference program. The award acknowledges an individual's achievement as measured by his or her contributions to education, innovation, product development, and in helping to grow the industry. The award has been presented to representatives from the options exchanges, OCC, and other industry leaders. We're honored to present the 2020 award posthumously to Joe Levin of SIBO. For over 30 years, Joe oversaw numerous revolutionary product developments that defined the market for listed options and futures trading. Ed Tilley, SIBO Chairman, President, and CEO, presents this honor to Joe's widow, Bonnie Greenberg. I'm pleased to join you today, having the distinct privilege of presenting this year's Joseph W. Sullivan Options Industry Achievement Award. Since 2002, the Sullivan Award has represented the very best of our business, recognizing the individuals who have made significant contributions to the U.S. options industry. Joe Sullivan was SIBO's founding president, and it was his dedication, determination, and commitment to launching SIBO, in spite of many challenges, that laid the foundation for the vibrant options market that exists today. The SIBO family was deeply saddened by the passing of Joe Sullivan last October. We are proud that his legacy will live on through this award, our industry's highest individual honor. There is no better tribute to Sullivan's impact on the options industry than recognizing the significant contributions from others in the options space with the award bearing Joe Sullivan's name. This year, I am honored to present the Sullivan Award posthumously to Joe Levin, the former Vice President of Research and Product Development at SIBO. Since our founding in 1973, SIBO has been the industry leader in product innovation. And at the center of those efforts for over 30 years was Joe Levin and his team. Joe was a true visionary in every way imaginable. For Joe and his team, no idea was too large. No thought was too radical. Joe had an amazing ability to turn a dream, no matter how abstract, into reality. One such concept was his idea for a benchmark for market volatility derived from options prices. Joe commissioned Professor Robert Whaley, a 2015 Sullivan Award recipient, and worked closely with him to develop a formula that measured the expected volatility of the U.S. equities market using certain index options prices. This led to the creation of the SIBO Volatility Index, the world's premier gauge of market volatility in 1993. The creation of the benchmark VIX index and subsequent launch of VIX options and futures has led to the development of an entire ecosystem of volatility tracking products and the evolution of volatility as a tradable asset class. Over the course of his remarkable career that spanned more than three decades, Joe oversaw the creation of numerous revolutionary products that today have come to define the market for listed options trading. Some of the groundbreaking products created by Joe and his team included the first security index options, OEX and SPX, customizable options contracts, flex options, long dated options, leaps, the first options based strategy benchmark index, the SIBO S&P 500 buy right index BXM, and the first short term options weeklies. Joe was incredibly dedicated to his work and growing the utility of the options product. The numerous innovations he oversaw are testament to this passion. Joe was beloved by the SIBO team and known for his humor, humility, and abiding friendship. He had immense respect and affection for his research team and most certainly would have wanted to share this honor with them. Joe was survived by his wife and best friend, Bonnie Greenberg, who joins us today. Bonnie, I could not be more honored to present you with the Sullivan Award on Joe's behalf. Thank you, Ed. It is such an honor to be accepting this award for Joe. 
Joe was modest when it came to his own achievements, so I can only imagine how touched he would be at receiving the recognition that the Sullivan Award represents. I actually worked in the options industry myself at SIBO for 10 years and certainly knew of the Sullivan Award, so its significance is not lost on me. Joe's accomplishments in this industry were many, but even I, who knew him pretty well, don't think I had fully realized just how impactful his contributions were. I've heard so many comments in recent years about Joe and what he meant to this business from colleagues and friends who worked with him over the course of his 34-year career at SIBO. And in a way, I think I actually got to know Joe a little better through the eyes of those who worked with and admired him. I'm grateful to those who shared their thoughts with me, and I've actually noticed a few recurring themes in what people have said about him, things that really seem to capture the essence of his accomplishments. Statements like, it was Joe who put SIBO on the map, that product innovations he spearheaded shaped an industry and revolutionized it for generations to come. To attribute this level of industry influence to Joe, I think speaks volumes about how respected he was by those who worked with him. I recall one of his colleagues summarizing it succinctly, saying simply that Joe was always the smartest guy in the room. Quite a compliment. Though he made a big imprint on the listed options industry and had a big presence when it came to his knowledge, Joe didn't have a big ego. He wasn't someone who sought the limelight or the applause. So for him, I think the Sullivan Award would have been completely unexpected, very much appreciated, and particularly poignant following the passing of Joseph Sullivan late last year. I know Joe would have been very honored to be joining the group of distinguished award recipients that came before him. I also know with absolute certainty that Joe would have wanted to share this award with his team, who he worked so closely with and who were like family to him. So on behalf of Joe, who I wish more than anything were here to receive this himself, thanks very much for this wonderful tribute. His family is so proud of him. Thank you. Congratulations to Joe, his SIBO colleagues, and his family on this honor. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash The Options Insider, or via questions at TheOptionsInsider.com.